What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, the Bad Diggity Diesel, back with another video. And hey, it's a New York Giants video this time about some... Well, it's not breaking news anymore. I would have loved to have done this when I read it, but hey. Yeah, I work a full-time job, man. I got to go pick up my son. And of course, my son's got pictures tonight, which is why I cannot do the Yankees and Orioles game. I wish I could do that too. But hey, that's just the way the ball bounced, man. That is adulting. And adulting is not always fun uh, at some point. But you know, whatever. I got to grow up eventually. Anyway, um, I kind of want to talk about the Nate Solder thing a little bit. Obviously, he opted out for the 2020 season. And I don't think that this comes as a major shock to a lot of Giants fans. I think we all knew he was kind of leading in that direction. I know there's going to be some Giants fans go, good, he sucks, get him out of here, he's no good, he allowed 59 pressures last year, he got Daniel Jones killed, and I know he had a bad year, and I know he hasn't really been good since he's got here, but to me, you know, you drafted three offensive linemen this year, you have a, a young Will Hernandez, I think that Nate Solder's veteran presence, maybe not so much on the line, but in the locker room on the team, I think the Giants needed a guy like that to, to kind of tie the line together, so I think that his presence will be missed, even if it's not on the field as much as it is off the field. I really don't like that. I kind of wish that he was going to be around, but I completely understand his decision. I, I understand any player's decision to opt out. So I'm not I'm not criticizing him for that. I, I completely get it. Um, I just, I, I think the Giants will miss him more than some Giants fans think we will. Now, it does open up a lot of talk about the right tackle. There was always that talk, is he going to start at left tackle and we're going to have Andrew Thomas right tackle? Now, I don't think there's any doubt Andrew Thomas is our starting left tackle in 2020, but it does open up a competition. We did bring in Cam Fleming this year. I do think Cam Fleming is probably going to get the nod over there, but obviously this opens up uh, Nick Gates in there as well for competition. Of course, there's been talk about Nick Gates playing center instead of Spencer Pulley and Jalapio. So it does, Nick Gates is Nick Gates is probably going to compete for both, I would imagine. And then, of course, there, there's Matt Parrott. Matt Parrott is a little raw still. I don't think he'd be the starting guy, but obviously it does open up the competition. But again, without, without the uh, preseason games, I don't think Matt Parrott's going to get enough to ever be a starter. I think it's going to be considered between Cam Fleming and, and Nick Gates. I think those are going to be your guys that compete for that right tackle spot over there. And I think left tackle is definitely Nate Solder. Or I'm sorry, uh, Andrew Thomas. And I think that this is good. I wanted Andrew Thomas to start a left tackle from day one because I want Thomas and I want uh, Will Hernandez to get that uh, unity over there. I want them to get that cohesiveness, that teamwork. I want them to work off of one another. I think that makes it a lot better that they can gel much earlier than you know playing Andrew Thomas a right tackle and then moving him over to left tackle because then they would have to get acclimated to one another. Uh, you know, in the 2021 season, this gives them a little bit of a head start, especially again since they won't have that time together in preseason to work together. So I, I do like that Andrew Thomas will be playing left tackle. I don't think there's any doubt about that but again Nate Solder was not great and we all know that we all gave him hell myself included but like I said I think the Giants will miss that veteran presence and it is a body on the offensive line it does take some of that depth away from the offensive line uh it's a good thing the Giants did go out there and draft three linemen this year um but you know again Nate Solder opting out it doesn't seem like a big deal maybe uh to some people but I like I said I think this is a bigger deal uh, then some people may let on. And again, maybe not so much what he does on the field, but more so in the locker room and off the field. A guy that's been there, a guy that's been through the wars, a guy that's that's won a Super Bowl. Um, I think they'll miss the veteran presence. But again, I completely understand his decision and I completely respect it. But it definitely will be interesting to see what happens with the right tackle spot because now you're really going to have some good open competition and I'm definitely looking forward to that. Anyway, that's all I got uh, for this video. I will be live uh, tomorrow night. Lakers and Clippers cannot wait, and I promise you guys I will get a Yankee game as soon as I can. It's just, like I said, the, the two games on Tuesday and Monday, Tuesday, it stinks I couldn't do it, and tonight, like I said, I got something to do, so I can't do the Yankees and Orioles. Pretty sure talking Giants on Friday, I can't do it on Friday. Um, so maybe Sunday, I think it's Sunday night, Yankees and Red Sox. I think that's the next Yankee game I'm going to do. It. Anyway, I'm babbling. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow night. Until then, it's bad diggity dizzle, and I am gone. Peace!